What's up YouTube, it's your boy Flying Mentor back with another extraordinary video and today or this weekend we're going to be out here at the Flying Circus Air Show in Billiton, Virginia watching some hot air balloons and some of that good old biplane action so sit back, relax and enjoy the show Waco coming in for a landing. They're landing to the north today. So it's a little bit more of a difficult, uh, challenging approach. And as you can see, it just disappeared because there's a huge hill right there at the beginning of the uh, north. Here at the Flying Circus, we do a special approach where you come in low and do you go into a pitch up break like this? Oh, lost him, lost him. And pulls up real hard and then leaves off some of the airspeed and brings it around for a nice smooth touchdown. Now, these aren't fighter jets. So, the main reason we do it here for the pitch up break um, is basically to come down and just check out the runway and just pretty much let everybody know hey we're landing get out of the way all right or if you're at the end of the runway getting ready to take off hey chill out because I'm, I'm coming through all right real nice and let's watch as Dave skillfully brings his steerman in for a smooth touchdown the only way Dave can do it one heck of a pilot United Airlines 767 captain with awesome stick flying skills. All right, here comes another one. Slow it down. The thing about this, when, when you pull the throttle back in a steerman, I mean, it drops airspeed and you see that little side slip, bringing it in, very nice. Adding a little bit of power so he doesn't smack down. And that's John, an American Airlines 787 captain. Two awesome steerman touchdowns. And here's my buddy Chuck in his travel air. It's such a beautiful day for flying and such a beautiful day to share aviation with everybody. Going to the end of the runway and getting ready to take off. Turn around, using up as uh, much of the available runway as possible, and in true truck fashion, doesn't waste any time max power and we begin to climb up that hill on the northern runway and then go down the hill on the northern runway so landing and taking off on the northern runway out here at the flying circus is the most challenging because of that hill now all your visual cues are a little bit different because you've got that sloping terrain it 
for the first time doing it, it will scare the crap out of you, especially landing on it, you know, because if you don't land at the top of the hill, you'll catch that down slope of the hill and it just feels like you're just floating all the way down to the trees uh, that are patiently waiting you on the other side. Joke, JK, all right. <laughs> Right, hopefully you can see this but uh this is the first uh act of the of the show where you do the balloon pop so you got the uh, steering coming in low looking for the balloon oh man he got that one he got that one so apparently uh this is a good way to you know practice you know, you know do a little bit of target practicing I don't know uh, if they actually did this during World War II. Hey, but let's say this. Let's see if I can get a few more. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. There it is. Ever been buzzed by a steerman before? out here and join us. shows in his element. And if you like what you see, go ahead, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. You see all these beautiful warbirds. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. You know, so I can bump up on the algorithms. And so I can continue to bring you some more cool, awesome aviation content. Also, check out the website, www.flyingmentor.org. So you can get tools and resources to help you on your flying All right, so we got big homie Scott Francis coming in in his MX. Here at the mill bag pickup, I fly this L4 right here, and I do the uh, the mill bag pickup. Did I just say at the mill bag pickup? At the flying circus, I do the mill bag pickup, and me and this guy, we take turns flying the L4 and uh, picking up the mill bag. Now that is something that they definitely did uh, during World War II uh, to deliver mail to troops. Uh, behind enemy lines. So, watch this next clip. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but right over there, between those two uh, pylons, is the uh, mail bag. Here he is, coming low, hook is down. 
slowing down to about 60 miles an hour. And then he grabs the mail bag and he's off. And this part shows how they delivered it. So you saw how they picked it up. Here's how they delivered the mail to the troops on the battlefield. Flies in and then releases the mail bag. So one of our uh, acts out here that we're really well known for is the wing walk act. See the wing walk stand on this 450 right here? Our buddy Chuck is gonna do the wing walk. Joe is gonna fly it. Wing Walk Act definitely is a, a crowd pleaser. Um, every time we finish the show, people are talking to uh, the, per the performers of the uh, Wing Walk, and they are just simply amazed, completely amazed, because it takes a lot of courage to step out on the wing of a moving aircraft and like move about the fuselage to climb on top of the uh, wing and all that, so it's crazy. Right, right now, he has walked across the left wing and he is hanging on the left strut. It's called the javelin. I can hear my buddy Chuck yelling. And the tippet one foot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the trees, a little slip action, catch the top of the hill, I just got it, yep. And there we go, uh, into the to the air show part. Now, on to the second part of Balloon Festival 2020 here at the Flying Circus. Uh, they are going to start uh, inflating the balloons uh, before too long, and I'm gonna get you some exclusive footage on that. <laughs> 